Well, Mr. Cassidy, I'm surprised your company's gone so long without health insurance. Here's the rate for the standard corporate policy for an owner with one employee. Oh, man, no way can we afford that. Yeah, and anyway, I'm not just an employee. I I'm his partner. Oh, your partners? Mm -hmm. Well, that makes a big difference. Here. Oh, wow, wow. that's half the cost, man. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, our company's very gay-friendly. <laughs> What's what did you say? Uh, we try to make domestic partner insurance as affordable as possible. I'll get the paperwork. He thinks we're gay. So we need the insurance. But we're not gay. Well, do you like me? Well, yeah? Are you happy about it? Yeah. Happy gay, same thing. Okay, just fill these out, write me a check, and we're all set. Come on, sign it, pumpkin. <laughs> You know, you're the second gay couple that I've signed up this week. And I have to say, as a gay man myself, that makes me feel pretty great. All right, for our side. Charlie. Hey, you know what? Uh, tomorrow night I'm having some guys over. Just kind of, uh, I just broke up with my boyfriend of seven years, but really I'm okay kind of party. <laughs> Why don't you guys come along? We, uh, we, we may be busy. Oh, come on, Del. You never take me anywhere anymore. It's all work, work, work. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm at 523 Bleecker. About 8 o'clock, casual. Cool. You know, you really are a cute couple. He completes me. Jeez. Charlie, why did you tell that guy we're going to go to his party? What? I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Well, what about me? What am I supposed to do? Wear something nice. Don't embarrass me. Ujjayi pranayama breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Release the tensions of the day. Let nothing intrude on your serenity. Where the hell's Annie? <laughs> Hi, Angie. Nice of you to drop in. Uh, you know, Annie must still be out to lunch with her dad and, you know. Mona. It's okay, Caroline. You can say her name in front of me. She's out to lunch with her dad and Mona. Mona! Ha! I can't believe my ex-husband's marrying a woman named Mona. We had a dog named Mona. No nipples. Lost them on a hot sidewalk. And you don't have to worry about Annie. She's on your side. I mean, she put off meeting the woman as long as she could. Well, why isn't she back yet? How long does it take to say two? You know, um, I don't have a cleaning lady. Really? Then what does that Richard do? Well, uh, right now he's at jury duty, but he was asking for more responsibility. Mm. Oh, hey. Enough small talk. What did you think of your father's little chippy? <laughs> so is he still making you go to the wedding? Uh, no, Ma. I want to go. I'm getting a seat on the aisle so I can trip the old bat when she lumbers by. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. I wish your grandmother was alive to see this. Me too, Ma. Mona's an evil cow, a horrible witch. Her breath smells like feet. <laughs> Mona's a doll. I'm singing at the wedding. So this is fun, huh? Oodles. You know, you get on the right jury, you can make a fortune. Book deals, talk shows. I've got a movie of the week in me. I know it. Yeah, well, I just want to get out of here. You want to get out quick, get on the jury right away. Most trials last one or two days, and then you're done. Really? Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. You wish. You don't stand a chance of getting on a jury. Really? And why not? You don't fit the profile. Profile? What profile? Look, lady, I'm an intelligent, rational, open-minded individual. I am exactly what they are looking for. Dismissed. So, Mr. 
mister. I'm just what they're looking for. <laughs> What's this? Strike three? Four. <laughs> this last time they took two people who barely spoke English. I mean, one of them kept calling the judge, Your Highness. <laughs> but they fit the profile. All right, all right, I give up. What's the profile? The lawyer size you up the minute you step into the courtroom. You don't even have to say a word. And they know if they want you. But that's ridiculous. But that's the system. I... Look, if you want to get on a jury, ditch the funeral attire. <laughs> you look like you're dressed for a hanging. Here. This got me into the alternate pool for the Gotti trial. <laughs> Dismissed. Stop that! <laughs> All right, look, here's the deal. You didn't want to hurt his feelings, so we stay a plate 45 minutes and we're out of here. What if we're having a good time? Come on, Charlie, think about it. This is a party with all guys. It's only fun if you're gay or seven. All right, just to review. Clang, clang, clang with the what? Trolley. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, guys. Come on in. Hi. I guess we rented that Village People movie for nothing. Dell, Charlie, this is Lester and Kevin. Nice to meet you. Hey. hey. Are you guys by any chance contractors? Because we're redoing our kitchen. Uh, no. No, no, we're just, uh... Gay. I'll get you a drink. What's your pleasure? Like you don't know. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Oh. Wow. I didn't expect to see any women at this party. You are a woman, right? Yes. I'm Susan Wyman. I'm Todd's roommate and his business partner. Oh, that makes you my insurance agent. Well, talk about being in good hands. <laughs> Del Cassidy. Oh, right. The new domestic partners policy. Yeah. So, uh, great party, huh? Actually, it's torture. It just proves that all the really interesting handsome men are gay. Oh, I'm sure there's still one or two uh, straight guys out there. Well, I hope so. I am so ready to meet the right man. <laughs> Will you excuse me? I'm so ready to meet the right man. Oh, uh, don't worry. You'll find somebody. I found Dell. Excuse us? Uh-oh. Somebody's possessive. Okay, Charlie, look. I'm gonna call this whole thing off. We're no longer gay. I don't think that's something you can just decide. Well, Charlie, I just met this incredible woman. We gotta tell Todd the truth. Even though lying on an insurance application is fraud and you could go to jail. All right, don't just stand there and kiss me. I know you. Fire Island, 1988. You were in the drag show in the Pines. Your Streisand was unbelievable. You didn't tell me you could sing. He's just an unfolding mystery. Do you know Don't Rain on My Parade? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 really. Really, I couldn't. Oh, come on. It's my favorite. For me... Don't tell me not to live to sit in butter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter. Don't send a cloud to rain on my parade. Hey, Dal, can you grab my ankle and stretch my hamstring for me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, that's great. Higher? <laughs> uh, do you want me to do the other leg? No, I'll do you. Oh. Tell me for a guy, I'm pretty limber. Oh, oh, oh my lung string! I'm sorry. Here, roll over. I'll rub it out for you. Oh. Does that feel better? A hell of a lot better than running. <laughs> You're so funny. You don't happen to have a straight brother, do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> An identical twin. His name is, uh, is, uh... No. Really? No. Hey, guys. Look, I'll see you at the gay pride rally this afternoon. Oh, Del, 
pick up some paprika on the way home. I'm making goulash. You're so lucky to have Charlie. Yeah, I yeah. am. Man, you are so stiff. Well, it's one o'clock. Lou's probably getting ready for the wedding. Right now. One who's tying his tie. I always used to do it. Oh, Angie. You know what I always do when I'm feeling down? I take myself to the salon for a little pampering. How about uh, we get a facial, a manicure, my treat? Oh, I know just a place, but I have to warn you, it's a little fancy. Oh. Boy, that was some ride. Does the bus always take two and a half hours to get to Paramus? No, we made good time. Oh. Hiya, girls. Hey. Hey. So, Angie, huh? Today's the big day. How you doing, honey? I'm holding up. Oh, oh. Hey, I hear the bride's no stranger to a bar stool. I hear she never buys on sale, thinks she's too good. Uh, please. Thanks, girls. Lois, Gail, this is Caroline. Oh, well, Caroline! Oh. Annie's friend! Uh, oh, my God, sweetie. What are you, a welder? <laughs> Come on, I'll do your nails. No charge. Uh, I'm trying out some new colors. Huh? Uh, uh, thanks, but I'm, I'm really a clear polish gal. Hey, do you know women who wear clear polish stay single longer? Five years. It's a fact. <laughs> An premise. <laughs> hey, the new boyfriend will love it. Um, excuse me? Trevor. Oh. I hear he's a regular Fabio. <laughs> Hey, Richard had his chance. You show him. Marry the beefy guy. Excuse me. Um, Angie, how do they all know about my love life? Good taffy. They had Seaside Heights. Girls, wait till you hear. I came straight up. Oh, my God. Angie. Jenny, you look beautiful. Who died? <laughs> okay. You're going to find out anyway. I just went to Lou's wedding. <gasps> but only because my chef was doing the flowers. Oh, forget about it. You gotta eat. Speaking of which, the cake? Please. <laughs> okay, I think I'll have my hair done, too. <laughs> Two months. Lou will be scratching at your door. Mm. Well, I wouldn't want him back. Annie and I got a good thing going. We're like Laverne and Shirley. Tell him. Oh, yes. They just laugh and laugh. <laughs> Speaking of Annie, she would have made you proud. Oh, but, 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 who, who, who do you have to kill to get some of that taffy? I know my Annie wouldn't let me down. So, what did she do? Oh, oh, look at the time. You know, if we leave now, we could be home by Thursday. Caroline, please. Your daughter, she sang like an angel. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. Because they all knew what a mistake Lou was making marrying that strumpet. A toy! <laughs> Annie sang at that wedding? Why don't you just put a knife in my heart? Lock the door, Lois. I'm gonna need the works. Oh, man. The letter didn't work? No. No, Phyllis. Surprisingly enough, the sweater did not work. I look like a poor, white Bill Cosby. I can't believe they didn't take you. The profile always works. Oh. Show me your jury smile. Jury smile? To show you're sincere. Dismissed. 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 Here, Del, I hope I didn't embarrass you by just walking out of the shower naked that way. <laughs> It's just that I'm so comfortable with you, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> you were naked? In that back rub, I was putty in your hands. Listen, Susan, now that we're so comfortable with each other, there's something I really want to tell you. Hey, guys! Hey, we're here, we're quick, get used to it! <laughs> you know, Del, I really admire you for coming out here in front of the whole world and standing up for what you believe in. You know, that takes a lot of integrity. Integrity? That's, uh, that's pretty important to you, isn't it? Like more than nice hair and a cool car. Oh, come on, you two. Todd's already speaking. Uh, yeah, hey, you guys go ahead. I want to talk to Charlie. 
Hey, which one do you want? Pink, pink, or I'm not gay, but my boyfriend is. Charlie, you do realize you're not actually gay. No, but my boyfriend is. All right, look, this is getting out of hand. You're way too into this. I know. At, at first, I just wanted to make you really, 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 really uncomfortable. But, I don't know, now I kind of like it. The clothes, the camaraderie, the grooming products. You know, I like everything about being gay. Except the sleeping with guys part. Bill, Charlie, come on! Hey, have you noticed? That Susan's really hot. <laughs> until every gay and lesbian couple in this country has the right under the law to health insurance. <laughs> now, Charlie, come on up here. What? C come on, girlfriend. <laughs> this is the true picture of gay America. No, it's not. Dal, don't be ashamed. Dal and Charlie are exactly the kind of honest, sincere, committed partners that deserve all the benefits of a married couple. You are the perfect spokesman for us, Dell. Would you say a few words? Okay. Well, first of all, I, I can't tell you how much I respect you all for coming out here like this. And, and it's with a great sense of integrity that I say to you now, I am so not gay. What? I, I need to be alone. <laughs> Please, please, let me explain. I, I think you'll appreciate the irony of this. <laughs> I just pretended to be gay to get the cheap insurance rate. Yeah. I know. Isn't that something? Look, uh, just keep up the good work and... Gosh, thanks for disco. <laughs> Susan, Susan, wait, wait. Okay, wait. well, that was So, something coming out in front of all those people like that, huh? So, uh, what do you think? Does that take more courage or integrity? <laughs> it's the hair. It's the hair. You've got that whole Fonzie meets Lyle Lovett thing going on out there. That's a real wild card for the attorneys. It is not the hair. It's the hair. It is not the hair! <laughs> she sang for her. How could she sing for that booze hound? Angie, please. There must be something I can do to make you feel better. You want to make me feel better? Let me move in with you. And never, ever speak the name of my former daughter, the singer. Well, technically, that's two things. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. I made you proud. I tripped Mona. She hit the floor like a sack of bricks. I'm not listening to this. Ma, why? What happened? She knows. Oh, my God. I gotta talk to her. Paramus? <laughs> kinda like it. <laughs> my single days are over. <laughs> Mom, you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Then you'd have the apartment for yourself and Mona could move in. Ma! You just couldn't stand in the back of the wedding with the puss on? No, you had to stand up in front of all those people and sing. I did it for Dad. He's still my father. I don't show your mother. I know. I know. No one can replace you, Ma. Then why don't you sing at my wedding? <laughs> what are you talking about? I wasn't even born yet. Always an excuse. Forget it. Don't ever sing for me. I wouldn't want to embarrass you. Ma. Ma, come on. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? I love that song. <laughs> Just like me, they long to be close to you. That's my daughter. 
Why do stars fall down from the sky every time you walk by? Just like me, they long to be. Artala, on Broadway, this will cost you 65 bucks. Dig a little deeper. On the day that you were born, the angels got together and decided to create a dream come true. So they sprinkled moon dust in your hair of gold and starlight in your eyes of blue. Ladies and gentlemen, the 12 of you will constitute our jury for this trial. Congratulations, see? At least now I can just get this over with. We expect this trial to last approximately three to four months. Whoops. During that time, you will remain sequestered at an undisclosed location. Thank you. Uh, okay, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, okay, I don't really fit the profile. I, I never smile, just a minute. Yeah, see, see, th th this isn't my hair. He's guilty! He's guilty! I can tell just by looking at him! 